Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Coven Cats. It's your girl Cats. And I'm Cub. And I mean, of course, welcome back to our podcast setup. We're here Part to talk two. about some things. Yeah, so on our last video, of course, uh, you guys should go watch it, catch up, make sure you're watching these in order just so you're with so you're with us. Um, but we mentioned Doja Cat and this month, we are still in the month of March. This month seemed like a long month. I just want to add that. Did it? To me, to compare it to January and February, yeah. February did kind of blow by. It was I kind of like, sh- forgot about February, honestly. And then January, like, they stormed the Capitol in January. Remember Maybe that? that was a blur. That was a blur. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll give it to you. Okay. Um, okay, but yeah, so the month of March, besides being your birthday month, it is Women's Month. So, shout out to all the women's. <laughs> Uh, we're great, but um, I just want to, I just want to uh, acknowledge some women right now because we've been shouts doing a damn the damn thing. Shouts out, yeah, shouts out to the ladies. But we've been doing a damn thing for real. No, y'all really have. Like, I feel like, especially like twenty twenty, it was a year of the woman. Like, even though like it was a horrible year, I'm sorry, y'all. Like, why we gotta hey, get the shitty pandemic? <laughs> um, y'all really showed out. Like, y'all showed out and y'all showed up in all like senses of the word from the Megan the Stallions to the Stacey Abrams. Like y'all was out here. Oh God. Y'all did it last year. I ain't even gonna flex. Talk about rain honey. Mm-hmm. Um, but no. So yeah, so I just want to highlight some things, uh, of course about women. Let's make this episode about women because I'm a women's and, um, I just think it's going to be great. And so I watched, um, of course, the Grammys happened the other day. Mm-hmm. Or was that the other day? Last week? It was the other day, basically. Everything's Everything was a blur. The other day. <laughs> that's, that's, what, uh, that's what the pandemic has done. Everything's the other day. Um, but yeah, so the other day I watched uh, the Grammys. Mm-hmm. And it seemed like nobody performed but women. I didn't women. watch the Grammys. I, I, I don't. Okay, let me rephrase that. I didn't watch the Grammys. I never watched shit like that i just mm-hmm. go and i either watch the performances or whatever was going on on the internet mm-hmm. or you know i was also on youtube so okay. i watched basically the performances some of them on youtube i watched all the women perform which sure. it only seemed like there was women i did see um cardi b and megan Thee stallion they was in that like that that oh. sexual viper i was like yes. yeah let me be in the middle and just like it was beautiful like twist my head in the middle like <laughs> flip me over it was really great it was really great um so yeah so i watched uh doja cat which mm-hmm. is how we got here again so i watched doja cat performance uh meg the stallion cardi b uh and billy eilish you didn't watch a little baby i did not watch little baby little baby had a white man like throw Throw a Molotov. That's what it's called. A flaming thing. The flaming bottle. He threw it at the thing that looked like Wendy's. And then he did a flip. It wasn't a flip for real. But like it, it was bigger than black and white. Uh, this is giving me uh, uh, Flo Millie, Robert E. Lee, Confederate vibes. <laughs> hey, that was a very interesting moment. Um, for Beats by Dre. Wow. That was what that was for. I forgot what it was even about. <laughs> I, I forgot what it was okay, about. Okay, I'm okay. sorry, um, but yes. Um, women. Shout out to Flo Millie. Yes, women. That's what I mean. Shout out to Flo women Millie. in general. Don't play with her. That wasn't shade. Don't play with her because just, she's she's. It's just funny real. overall. I feel like there is just much more to talk about when it comes to women, especially in the yeah. last like year or so, as opposed to men, where it's like, what y'all do? I mean, it's kind of we just been doing the same stuff we've been doing. Basic. That's why I'm like, it, nothing's really Bland. changed. <laughs> I mean, I no. wouldn't say basic bland. It's just like we out here, barely. I feel like, <laughs> don't get me wrong, y'all. I'm a man. I get it, but I feel like some of the strongest appeal behind men is like spending power. And let me rephrase. Um, one of men's best attributes. One of men's best attributes is that we can spend money, right, y'all? 2020 kind of limited where you could spend money at. You can't go out. You can't show out. You can't. That's why everybody been in Atlanta so much lately. No, that's it's the only true. place you can go up and show out. And it's been <laughs> open for like, it never really closed. Atlanta was closed for like one month. And we was like, <laughs> y'all done. Y'all bored of that? Right. We'd be like, all right, y'all. So we did it. Uh, I think we're done. <laughs> like I mentioned in our other video, if you watched that one, not the one that came out today with this one. Like, last week remember yeah, last, last week, week when i was talking about being in the strip club all they got on his mask and then they just that's hey, been atlanta for hey. like 
I mean, that's been Atlanta since the pandemic. Honestly, <laughs> like the strip clubs was closed for like one month, and then they was like, "We don't." Think. Bruh, they did online strippers for a while. Shouts out to women. Shouts out to women. Y'all, y'all was on. <laughs> we keep this thing y'all, going. Y'all had Magic City on live. No, for real. Getting paid to Bro, give dances online? Yes. Another big thing that was uh, a thing last year, OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I don't hear much about OnlyFans anymore, probably because uh, mm-hmm. probably because uh, Bella Thorne ruined it, uh, unfortunately. But still, shout out to women. Okay. <laughs> because um, they was doing it. Like, no, I feel that. Um, I mean, even when it comes to people like Ruby Rose, like I just feel like, like a lot of y'all have been make. I'm about making money, y'all. Period. <laughs> and when you are good Period. at making money, no matter, as long as you're not basically putting hurting people in anyone, danger. Yes. Hurting money, anyone or yourself. Or stealing. From yes. people. To an extent. That's kind of loose. That's what I was like. Because, yeah, <laughs> when y'all was stealing from um all of them places y'all was robbing when y'all was riding, I was just like, hey. Let me know when y'all go to Best Buy. It is what it is. Like, Let me know when y'all get to the Best Buy, okay? But, yeah. Um. <laughs> Is there anything like specific like about women okay. that you want to speak on? Yeah, like, sorry. Like you said about the Grammys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to go back to the Grammys, although yes, um, I am celebrating women right now. Mm-hmm. We have had this conversation in our house about, uh, you know, like just music videos and stuff like that, and how mm-hmm. we feel about them. We just, you know, people you watch a music video and you talk about it. I guess do people not do that? We mm-hmm. do that anyway. So. Of course, like we said, women have been dominating music. Therefore, we are getting women's music, which in turn makes music women videos. Mm-hmm. And the videos have, of course, been great. They're serving looks. They're looking bomb. They're doing it. Choreography, I see you. But I do just, like, want more. I want, like, better. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I will say that about women. Like, I always say this. Like, shout out to y'all. <laughs> Men do not have to do choreography yeah y'all don't have to do anything i always feel like that is such an insult when it comes to y'all insulting women and saying like they're not good performers or they can't do this and yeah. do that they are dancing while they do all yes. of this stuff in heels sometimes with makeup on period wigs, wigs nails a skirt a corset a, dress, a thong like, bro some n- stockings niggas will show up in some jeans and a shirt and y'all still ready? won't do nothing <laughs> And still in there, do, still show up late. Yeah, yeah. I'll just be like, "Where's the standard?" At some point, because I like I think, the I think that is why women are just having like a really great moment right now. I mean, y'all yeah. are having a great moment in all cases, but like especially in the music you industry, say that thing. like especially in the music industry, y'all are really having yeah. a good moment right now. Because I mean, y'all have y'all, y'all have always had moments in the industry. Like remember Period. when every girl out here was getting a TV show? Yes. And I love that. And I loved it. There was a point in time, I don't know if y'all remember it. Y'all might be younger. Some of y'all might be older. So y'all do remember it. But like, remember Amanda Bynes had a show. Raven Simone had a show. Tia and Tamara had a show. Like, Kyla Pratt. A lot of girls just had shows as opposed to like, guys, it was a few. Yeah. But, um, but yeah. So I was saying, you know, like, although I do appreciate women and like we said, they, we, they really be doing it. I still just kind of want more or I just feel like there's a little bit of like lack of creativity or maybe it's just execution. I feel, does that make sense? And what way? So for instance, with the walk video, I loved it. Great. Besides Kylie Jenner in it, but that's a whole nother topic. I love that video. I thought it was perfect. Thought it was great. However, when it comes to Megan's videos, I feel like all of her videos, like you say, are on a set. And I just want to see a video that's not on a set. I do. Because that's not a bad wait a minute, thing. Because that is my thing about Meg Thee Stallion. I feel like Meg Thee Stallion is one of those people where she gives you that wholesomeness where it's like, yes, um, some of her videos or some of her songs may be, may be more provocative. Yeah. But it's like your cousin. Yeah. Do y'all not feel that way? Because I always feel that way. She's just like that cousin. She you got. cousin. I yeah, feel she, it. she that fine cousin. A lot of people got where yeah. it's just like she be out here doing her you thing. Find but like, your fine cousin. But yeah, but she doesn't. She's not purposely like trying to cause any harm to anybody. Is Never. what I'm saying. It's just in the way like she's that fun person to be around. Maybe it's not your cousin. Maybe it's that friend you got from school or whatever else. She's just a cool person to be around. It For seems sure. to me. Yeah. And I feel like she does have that persona of just like. Man, I can hang out with her. I can do this to her, this, that, and the other. But I feel like all of her videos come off kind of plasticky and kind of fake because I've never seen you in just a real setting. That was rude. Because it's like (laughs) when you don't see somebody in a real setting, like when it always does come off like prim and proper, you're like, that's how I know you. It's like a teacher at school. 
Mm-hmm. When you see a teacher in a regular setting, like on Mean Girls, they was like, yeah. I mean, in a sense, you know what I, I mean. But I was gonna say, I mean, I get it because like these are her actual videos that she's putting out. But like we've seen videos of her like just in a neighborhood or just out somewhere, you know, like when she was just rapping. Yeah, but that was back then. That's what I'm yeah. saying. But since she's been in the industry, all of her videos are choreography on a set on yeah. a green screen. You just want to see something more natural. Is what yeah, you're saying? Because yeah, I do appreciate I feel just like certain songs. It's like. I feel like all of her videos that she's been coming out with have been for like YouTube TikTok ass. It's just the time. Choreography and yeah. songs. And it's like, yeah, that's cool and all, but I feel like you don't you have to balance it out when you have certain fans. Cause of course, like you do have those TikTok fans, but I feel like Meg, like I said, she's that wholesome, everybody could like you as person, yeah. especially in the black community. And sometimes you just want a regular video, like, damn bitch, I can't dance like that. And I ain't trying to see people like every I time mean, you get online, people dancing, making up a dance <laughs> step to something new at this point. And it's like I'm not hating on the dancing or anything like that. I'm not even hating on Megan. I love Lover. Um but like I said, it's like at some point I just get tired of feeling like, oh, I already knew what your video was going to be. I knew yeah. you was going to be dancing on a set with a couple of bitches. Y'all was going to be doing some dance steps and this is just going to be yeah. fake behind I mean, you. All of the, It's a set. Yeah. I know I what mean, a set I get, is. Yeah. I get the last part. I'm not saying I just, not that I read, I didn't read that deeply into it. Like I was like, dang, I just got to want to see something like that's not on the set. I do. I would just like to see it because it is like an, an observing thing to see. But also with, uh, it was the same thing for Cardi B's video for Up. We said the same thing. They were just kind of like very like reminiscent of each other to me in a sense. Although they were completely different, it was the same thing. Yeah. Up and, and Cry that's Baby. What I, feel. I, I feel like Up and Cry Baby were basically the same video. Yeah. And that's what I feel. And it was also very reminiscent of when they did WAP. So it just. I don't know if it's all the same director. I'm sorry. I didn't do like research or anything about it. It's just me being an observant. active. Yeah. Yeah. Being observant and being an actual fan uh, or supporter. But um, also, I felt the same thing about the Grammy performances. Yeah. I feel like I feel like everything has been coming off kind of stale lately. It's it was real stiff. Because wait that's a minute. Because that's a, also what I was going to say with like Dolce Cat's new video. What's her name? Oh, oh, yeah. It's just, yeah. It, and it just comes off a little stale. And I feel like because it's not cohesive, because like I just said about all of these videos being on sets, yeah. it's like you're trying to create something and you're trying to like narrate this story for me a lot of the times. But it's like, I feel like everything don't always be cohesive. Like, not even necessarily cohesive, because sometimes it's cohesiveness, but sometimes I'll just be like, oh, this is the same thing again. Mm-hmm. So like with Meg Thee Stallion, I feel like, oh, this is the same video again. Yeah. But now with Doja Cat, I'm like, mm, that that TikTok dance, that makes sense in the video. This part yeah. kind of makes sense. But then that other part, I'm like, where does where does spider part come from? That's what it was for the new video when we watched it. Um, it was the spider part. Why she on I was the wall just kind like of confused. that? I just, I just feel like I was yeah. trying to make sense of it, but it doesn't. Yeah, it's like whoever is because I know it's not them personally. Like I'm not attacking or bashing these artists in mm-hmm. any way. It's just me it's just- being yeah having creative critiques. But whoever is like the director or doing the treatment, like I don't feel like they're fully thinking it through. No, but I feel that way about like I just said, like this is my case in general. (laughs) I feel like there are a lot of women that have a platform and y'all have great things to display, Mm -hmm. but it's not always the display it the best way yeah that's how i was like it's the execution yeah so like even when i'm watching like random videos on youtube like i came across jada waiter and her fruit video yeah i was like okay great idea jada she doing a mukbang people love her they want to see her kind of doing just like random things that all young people kind of want to see nowadays yeah. people under the age of 25 just want to see people they love doing random shit from all, from what i can tell it's always been fun it's Look just at, random you new york see, did it you want to see celebrities you like doing random stuff it's yeah. fun that's what yeah. fun is but i feel like as soon as i clicked into the video the video loud but i can't hear her yeah this is loud like salsa music playing dun 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 i'm like what, what? yeah just, there was salsa. i was just Why so was confused salsa music? for a second and i'll just be like for certain people, I'd be like, y'all finally have the money, the resources, and all the things like yeah. that. And somebody is fucking you over on your team because I know they could execute this way better. Yeah. And it'd be the execution half of the time where it was like, even with Sweetie's rollout for Best Friend, how they leaked her song. It's like, damn, like that execution probably would have been fire. But like y'all leaked it and it kind of fucked up her, her whole little... Her whole little shit. Her whole little shit. And Sweetie especially has definitely been doing it the past year or... She is the internet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she she is the new it girl, but well deserved, honestly. Well no, deserved. I feel that. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, so it's just like, like he said, I don't think it's anyone necessarily like trying to take advantage of them necessarily, but I do just, I just wish I had better teams because y'all deserve, because y'all really talented and I want to see y'all win. Because I think, I think nowadays some people do be feeling like, you know, the people I started with are the people I got to come up with. And no, I'm not saying get rid of your friends and I'm not even saying like delete your team that you have now, but I'm like, yeah, no, you should always shop around for like you other have to people level. because you yeah. do have to kind of level up at some point and you have to let let's just face it the people that work for you sometimes they have to go find other jobs yeah. they can find a, a job in the same field doing the same thing it just always can't be with you because at some point you do have to let your products match the level you're on Period. because when the stuff you're putting out is of a lower grade than what you are you diminish your talent or your value or whatever the case may be yeah if you got if you got a hundred dollar value let's say you got a hundred dollars if you got a hundred dollars, you got a hundred dollars to get you some food. Spend it on food. I'm telling you to spend this hundred dollars on food, and you go to McDonald's and you get five dollars worth of food. I'm like, well, you had a hundred dollars. What did you? Yeah. But I mean, okay, it's so, not about saving the money and doing all of this and all of that because, of course, you know, like you're gonna get more. That's what I always feel. It always comes back to those people. Because yeah, they already you have, have to spend platform. money to make money. Y'all ain't spending no money and be saying the light. Y'all <laughs> yeah. be doing the bare minimum, and it's like, yeah, bare minimum does get you by, but I feel like. It doesn't get you to the next. It gets, or it, you gets by. You, it gets you to the point where I feel like men did get to where it kind of start to feel stagnant and you feel like you don't really have to do as much. And then people get bored. Because you want to know what I do love? The last um, the last performance that Offset had, I think it was with him and Cardi B was at the BT award or something. When he was dancing? Yeah, he was dancing. He was like, do, 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 do. I was like, you better do that. You better give me choreography, baby. Yeah, I remember. It was just entertaining. That's when, everybody, like, was, that's entertaining. when everybody found out Offset can dance, and he was like, "I'm gonna show y'all like a really dance." And you know what's funny? So he used to be ticking online and stuff. So did Doja Cat. <laughs> she used to be. She still be ticking. So basically, if you used to be ticking, you could probably you five. <laughs> <laughs> she was ticking on can the we Grammy see a Doja Cat versus Offset like dance off. Oh, T Pain too, because he be ticking. T Pain gonna win. T Pain gonna win. I believe it. <laughs> um, that'll be hilarious. Please make it happen. <laughs> But yeah, like women, y'all are doing y'all damn thing. I just want, I want, I let me stop saying what I want for y'all because y'all are doing it. Shit, y'all got there without me. Hello, um, who am I? But since I am a, a supporter of a lot of you, I just want y'all to get everything that y'all are entitled to. And I, I feel like afraid. sometimes y'all miss out on opportunities because mm-hmm. your team ain't all the way there. Period. And That's I don't even a got team. a team. I, I could wish be a, I had a that's team. why I was like, I don't even need a team. I could be a part of a team. I could really help upgrade some people. Cause like even with Jada's video, I was like, I could easily fix her video, fix her sound, give her a way better angle. Because like even behind her, she had her um sign and it say wait a damn minute. But Girl, I really need to see that. I'm like, what does it say? Because the camera yeah. angle like down here. And yeah. I'm like, Jada, can't nobody see that girl. Yeah. And I'm sure you paid money for that. You want people to see that shit. Get a good angle. Get some good clips. Girl, yeah, we trying to see that skin. We trying to see that. We trying to see you. And that's the thing, especially with like people like her. That one YouTube video, you can milk the fuck out of that video. Milk it. We because gonna put some editing in there. That's what I was about to say. You can add some editing into it. Make it very simple. Because it was a kind of long video. I could cut that into a two-part video if we did it the right way. I could add yeah. clips to it. Yeah. I could do a... Uh, a live um, IG live video I mean not live IG TV video for her Yep To promote it Because she was doing that fruit That a lot of people I guess yeah. I've been seeing Like that like that pink pineapple And all of that mm-hmm. I just be saying certain people Jada Hit my phone Hit let, my Instagram let Hit my YouTube it, Please let me do let it Let him do it girl Even Even I know <laughs> Zoe is not a woman <laughs> But uh goddamn Zoe you. I fuck with your videos too bro we And I just you. be like Certain videos I be like I can help him with that And it's let not Let me do it I be like And like we said in our last video Everything don't be a about chasing clout or trying yeah. to get famous or this that and the other it's just certain people i'd be like since you are black and you are wholeheartedly put or you are putting like effort towards something i'd be like i want to help you succeed in this field right yeah because and, and we're not saying like oh well who are you like what do you say that we need help but like no like we want to see you win and as an actual consumer of whatever you're giving us we know like what we want to see you get no I mean? that's what i'm saying because especially with black people i just be feeling like People always feel like, oh, they just want a handout or they just yeah. trying to get some clout or yeah. certain shit. But when it comes to like certain white creators, they 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 like, of course, they do the same thing, but they are more willing to work with each other and get that end product done. And they out. be like, look, we going to make it happen. man. We because can both get it. 
Like, yeah. let's pull a, a Even if it is dumb. Because that, at the end of the day, you need to pull you a Jeezy and Gucci man, and y'all both need to sit there no matter what the other person's saying and get that content out and make that money. Because at the end of the day, y'all, like, how old are we now? Let it go. I just want, especially within the black community, like, stop beefing and stop doing all of that random shit when it comes to making money. Right. When it comes to outside of that, I get it. it certain shit be happening. But when y'all making that money, make it happen. It, it Stay really, on top it, of it. it. Y'all. A lot of y'all fans just do want to see y'all win. They yeah. don't be saying stuff to like hate on y'all. No, for real, for real, for real. Even when like people like JT, I love JT. I think she be thinking all her fans hate her. We don't, girl, cause you find we love you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like people do be popping off at the mouth and saying some certain shit, and you just be yeah. like, "Dang, yeah, bro. I get why they mad." But yeah. then other shit, you just be like, "I don't think that's how they were trying to say." I think it. they were trying to help you, baby. Yeah, yeah. But these all be opinions. I yeah, don't know. Perspective yeah. and all of that. But no. Um, so yeah, I thought the same thing about the Grammys. Like I said, it's just everything. Great ideas. Like, first of all, Cardi B. Cardi B. Cardi B. That wig, phenomenal. The wig was phenomenal. Okay. It was sewn. It it was it was there. Also, the production for the performance, beautiful. The set design, beautiful. Great. All of that. For me, it was the outfit choice. Beautiful outfit. Hard, like, mobility type. So it made her look very stiff because mm-hmm. of the way it's structured. Mm-hmm. And it just looked really stiff. And so she already thick. It was just a lot, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, it I was a lot. That, cause I can feel that. Because I didn't, I mean, I really didn't see the performance. I only saw that girl flip the other girl. But <laughs> that girl flipped the other girl. Child, making the card. Yeah. <laughs> but you <laughs> know. Um, also, uh, Sorry. Felt the same thing. It not the same thing. Doja Cat's outfit wasn't as bad as hers, but because it was all black, like nothing on it popped, and she did have things on it that popped, and it didn't pop because we couldn't see it because it was dark and it's all I feel black. Like, I feel like at this point, as celebrities, y'all have reached a point where y'all try to look a certain way, and it kind of limits performance. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. In a sense where it's like in the music video. You was moving around. You was jumping, bouncing, hopping, but you can't do that on stage now. Because wait, I don't think this isn't the Grammys, but Doja Cat was doing like basically all of these performances and she would just put the videos out on YouTube Mm -hmm. to all of her songs. Those were beautiful. Those were great. Great. That was true. Better than the Grammy performance. Yeah. Like the one when she did like the rock performance for that one song. Yeah. Oh, the rock version. I loved it. You, You hear me? I loved it. It was so good. No, I feel that. The Grammy, I will. No, that's what I'll be saying. Like, certain stuff I feel like gets executed so well that when, like, you see, like, something that was, like, you be just like, what What happened happened here? Yeah. 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 Because you know the team be there, especially, like, like I said with Jada. Jada photos be so nice, and, like, she always looked so good that when I looked at her YouTube video, I was like, damn. This don't do her no justice. It don't. It really don't. I need for all my women to get some justice. All of them, but it's it's been the same thing. It's been that same thing going on, um, and it's been a topic on Twitter in other places as well. So, of course, there are a lot of women, specifically a lot of Black women, right now that are definitely doing it. And so, you know, we're on the cover of magazines, and we have these spreads and all of these things. And it's I love that. Like, it's been how long now? That's great. Mm-hmm. But a lot of the times, if you don't have a Black photographer. You don't know how to photograph yeah. us, and it looks bad. Meg's photo that they've been doing all types of things too. They put her on WWE cover with Playboy Cardi, <laughs> or that was a UFC, or no, it was WWE. <laughs> the but internet, yes, that bro. is what I mean. Where it's like, I do feel like there's another thing. If black women don't give a hundred percent, y'all get bullied. Why? Bro, we have to give 110% to get even half of the vision that we want. Because look at Chloe <laughs> Bailey. Baby was out here giving 100%. And y'all was like, this bitch oh thinks she's somebody. God. I cannot this believe. Bitch thinks she's, we thought she was holy. This bitch oh thinks she's. Oh my gosh. She thinks she's so cute. Okay, first of all, the bitch is bad. Fuck cute, <laughs> well, bitch. She's cute. grown. Okay? She's grown and she's fine and she's sexy and she'll take your man. Easily. Leave her alone, bro. She wasn't even doing anything. She's in her room minding her business on her Instagram account. Okay. Her black ass business. Hello? I just can't. And oh, oh, thank you for ooh. that. Because ooh. that just brought something up out of me. While we're talking about women, <laughs> and like even in our last video where we said people like to pick and choose, for that Chloe Bailey situation specifically, I have never seen, like you said, so many women. 
hey on a, another woman for what like no, yes i have They've been doing this for I mean, years. okay, well, I'm sorry. Yes, let me rephrase that. Because it did bring up other instances where... So, we as women, of course, like to support women fully. And, oh, we love them. We love them while they're coming up. Because we feel like we need to uplift them. And then but, once they up there... Baby, once once they get up tear there... Tear that bitch down. Y'all do it to Beyonce and Rihanna like every other week. Y'all did it to Meg. <laughs> Even Tiana Taylor went ahead and said that she wants to retire. Because she don't feel like she get the love or the support that she That's deserves. what I was about to say. It's usually black women. Yes, and that shit is disgusting. Even Sweetie. There are so many people that hate it on Sweetie. And don't, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for a joke. I think when stuff is funny, I can critique things and all of that. But at the end of the day, like we always say, you can't hate on nobody getting the bag when they not harming nobody. Yeah. No, you really can't. Because, like, at the end of the day, I mean, what else are you doing in life? Like, you're trying to get money, get money so you can buy things, buy things to make you comfortable. You want to be comfortable so you don't have to live this nobody wants to live the rest of this life uncomfortable if you are not purposely being a bad person or like i said harming somebody or yourself baby you all right with me yeah <laughs> so to wrap everything up i think from my perspective women y'all are doing y'all damn thing and i appreciate it and keep doing it and i'm gonna be here supporting y'all um if y'all want some help hit my line hit my, hit my line. email click the link click my instagram cub and cat or you can just find me at coach cub on twitter coach yep. underscore cub yep. c-u-b i'm here for all of the set direction things and styling needs if you need any of those things so y'all can hit my line we can just help y'all we can just be our team and just other black creators in general <laughs> on youtube we're looking to collab with y'all especially black women who i feel like don't get enough of a platform because it's, yeah. it's easier for men to just go out here and do whatever hey man we're here we support y'all follow us like this video leave a comment below because like i know like we just said in the last video like maybe you got something to say maybe you feel type of way about it maybe you really do have an opinion um stop letting random people I don't know. Stop letting random people just not make it when they're supposed to be out here making it, y'all. Y'all know y'all want to see these black women shine. Let them shine. Period. Let them shine like bright as hell. Yes, that's on God. On game. Gang. Shouts out to the women. We love y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. <laughs>